Hello, Demon Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the leopard fruit, unlock all its skills, and become a pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. With every purchase you make, 5% will go to me, and this will really help me make better videos for each and every one of us. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Is the leopard fruit good for grinding? And this video will answer the question. So first off, we have the first skill, the Finger Revolver. So this is how it looks like. Guys, our weight is worth it. Check that out. Check that skill. So guys, is it good for grinding? Yes, it is multi-target. The only problem is the knockback. But if we're talking about the damage, the damage is really high. Just two skills to defeat the bandits. Again, the goal here is level 10. New quest. But guys, check this out first. And we just appreciate how good the update is. The running, the dashing. I am so impressed. Shout out to the developers. 10 out of 10. Next island is the jungle. So here our first target is the monkeys. Guys, check how powerful this fruit is. Two Z skills is enough to defeat the monkeys. And our goal here is level 15. The gorillas, checking our stats. Blocks fruits, 31, 7 melee and 7 defense. Again, next target, the gorillas. Guys, 2 Z skills is enough to defeat them again. So guys, we're not gonna spend lots of time here. We're gonna grind here until level 20. Yes, 20. But I, I think I reached 22 here. <laughs> but 20 is enough. Next target, the gorilla king. The technique here, guys, just look for a high ground, use your Z skill, and that's it, okay? Target level, level 30. Next island is the pirate village. So here, first mob is the pirates, lure 4. Use your Z skill 3 times and that's enough. If you want to make things easier, again, look for high ground, jump here, and that's it. Okay? Okay, guys. I also know this. You can get items such as the scrap metal. I don't know where to use this. You can find it in the items. Don't worry, I will be making a video out of that soon. Okay. So goal here, level 40. Next up, the Brutes. Okay, so you're gonna defeat this mob, same strategy, until you reach level 55. Next target here is Bobby the Clown. So guys, and you guess how many times it took me to defeat Bobby the Clown using the Z skill. So for the one who can guess it correctly, I will comment or pin it in the comment section again. Comment it in the comment section, your answer. So guys, if you answer seven times, that's wrong, because the answer is 8 times. Okay, so we're gonna grind here until it's level 75. Stat check. Blocks fruits 155, 35 melee, and 35 defense. Next island is the desert. Guys, I want you to check this out. Our second skill requirement is 50 mastery. So far, we have 43. So we will be unlocking the skill with the desert officers. So guys, keep on grinding, defeating them until we unlock the spiraling kick there you go guys the damage is really good but again there's an explosion after the skill which will knock back your enemy that will make things slower but it's fine guys level 90 next island the frozen village next skill will be unlocked at mastery 100 so we need 48 more masteries and for our next target the snow bandits we're gonna level up here 50 times only there you go, guys. I suggest just grind here until you reach level 120 with the Snow Bandits for more mastery. But if you want to make things faster, at 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. There you go. Do server hop until you reach level 120. This will be faster, but again, you will have lower mastery, okay? So if you want more mastery, stay with the Snow Bandits. So again, at 120, New quest available. Here are the stats: 240 blocks fruit, 6060 melee and defense. And guys, check this out. We will call them the flexors, King Shu. Guys, what is the point of killing noobs in the first sea, right? So anyway, back to grinding Marine Fortress. Target here is the petty officers. But before that, head to this tower and buy the black cape. Also, guys, you don't need the chest anymore. You can locate your items on the lower left side of the screen. Okay, so for those who want to grind masteries, I suggest you grind here until Master 100. Believe me, based on the level, the damage, and the mobs, this is one of the best places to grind masteries. At level 131, you can now move on to the next target, the Vice Admiral. So the technique here, use your Z skill, X skill, 
dodge his skills, wait for your skills to cool down, and that's it. You're going to unlock your third skill here, the after image assault. And this is how it looks like. There you go. I don't know what's happening. Check that out. But guys, the graphics. Again, shout out to the developers. It's really good. Target level here, 220. Next up, the prison. Over here, we have three bosses to defeat. First is the Warden. No need to worry, you can do wall strap. Use your Z, X, and C skill without getting damage. Same strategy will be used to the other mobs, the Chief Warden, and the Swan. So again, just do wall strat and that's enough. We're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 350, okay? Okay, so after that, here are the stats. 753, Blast Fruits, Neal Defense, 150. Next island is the Magma Village. Our target here is only the Magma Admiral. And guys, we won't be able to unlock our fourth skill here, so we will make things fast. You're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 425. Technique, use your skills, dash to the side, use your skills, dash to the side to dodge his skills, okay? Next stop, the Underwater City. Our target is, again, another boss, Fishman Lord. Why? Guys, he's so easy to defeat. Just lure him here. There you go, and wall strat. Okay guys, check this out. You can damage him, but all he can do is look at you. Okay, so we're gonna grind here until level 500. Check this out, our master guys is still not enough to unlock the F skill. So guys, again, I'm gonna make this faster. Server hop until 500. Stat check. Melee 2 to 5, defense 2 to 5, block fruits 1050. Next up is the Skylands. Okay, the upper yard. Use your Z skill to enter it and our target is the whisper for our strategy just lure him and do the stone strap just stand on top of this stone and he cannot attack you check this out he's gonna try and attack you but guys he won't be able to damage you almost the same as the wall strap okay but now we're just using a stone so there you go we're gonna unlock the f skill the body flicker here is the skill guys we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 625 guys this will be a bonus. I know it's hard to unlock all the skills because transformation needs 300 mastery. But guys, the technique here is go to the Fountain City at 625 and just defeat Gali Pirates. Okay? So that's what I did. Keep on defeating and defeating and defeating Gali Pirates until you, I unlock the transformation. So here is this transformation. That's why it took time before I posted this video. Because it's hard to reach Mastery 300, right? In the first C, so here it is. Things to note, you will have a left click. And the V skill transformation is permanent, okay? So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If we will reach 200,000 views with this video, I will continue grinding this until I reach max level, okay? So that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNob. And GamerNob out.